The Ides of March are upon us, ladies and gentlemen, and I'd like to roll back in time to a day that evoked disbelief and dismay. I am talking about the drop from 6K. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I am seeing a lot of similarities in the chart here, which are leading me to believe that a move very similar to that flush drop that we had at the 6K level may in fact be looming here in the shadows for Bitcoin. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and why I truly believe, ladies and gentlemen, a move of epic proportion is lining up here in the charts. I'm seeing all the warning signs right now. Many are going to get caught like a deer in the headlights here and get absolutely destroyed. And on the other end, many may see potentially life-changing trading opportunities right here in the immediate term. So ladies and gentlemen, as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right. So we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and observations on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading as this market is extremely high risk and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. Being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's start here on the weekly time frame on the BLX for Bitcoin. I'm seeing a lot of similarities as to what we saw up here at the 6K region. We all know what came of this, ladies and gentlemen. This was one of the most catastrophic drops in recent Bitcoin history. It also provided that exceptionally, exceptionally large trading opportunity that many traders made life-changing gains off of. Now, let's discuss the similarities I'm seeing here. One, we are now reaching a point where, to me, the trend must be defined, just as we were up here in this region, specifically this region right here. Volatility started to really close in and tighten up. Not much going on in the price action. If we use our date range tool, we can see that this lasted over 60 days, ladies and gentlemen, of almost no change in the price action, very little volatility. And right now, what we're seeing here on Bitcoin is a traveling range here going on three months of really uh, just ping-ponging within the same area over and over again. Over and over again. Are we testing the same tops and getting rejected? Once again, are we seeing these types of reaction rallies fueled by low volume that is giving me a warning sign here, ladies and gentlemen? Because what I'd like to do is look at the volume profile here. Now, let's take a look at what happened the last time that we had a descending volume profile, okay? So right now, it's very obvious to see Bitcoin's overall trend on the volume is downward. Uh, and as we all know, ladies and gentlemen, we had this here as well, going all the way from our first drop after the 20K sell-off, right? We had this descending volume profile the whole way down, then we had a lack of volatility, followed by a spike in volume and a capitulation candle deep down into the crypto abyss. It flushed the moon, boys, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Kirby, Kerbinaccio, but I thought it was going to the moon. They all thought it was going to the moon, ladies and gentlemen. 
I was sitting here saying, I see all the signs, ladies and gentlemen, that this thing was ready to drop. Shout out to my VIPs. You guys know I played that drop like a fine-tuned trombone. Some of the most life-changing and prosperous trades of the recent past few years, ladies and gentlemen, came on this drop here. Uh, and I'm seeing again that potential opportunity of this magnitude may be looming here in the shadows. Right now, I'm preparing myself because I see the similarities here on the volume. We are descending once again. Volume is actually incredibly low right now. As we discussed on yesterday's stream, if you are subscribed here, a ton of the daily volume right now per bitwise. Their research is suggesting that a ton of the volume here up to 95% of the daily volume in the crypto space is being wash traded. It is not real. It is fake per their analysis. And I happen to agree with that analysis as well. As you all know, Don Don Carbonaccio has been sniffing that out for months on end, ladies and gentlemen. All the moon boys telling me, oh, Kirby, but you, don't you want to look at the volume, Kirby? Don't you see it, Kirby? Don't you see it? What I see right now, James, what I see right now, Joe, is that we are on the brink of a potential collapse here for Bitcoin. And Don Don Carbonaccio is not going to sit here crossing my fingers, closing my eyes, hoping for a moonshot. When I see what the probabilities here are, when I see what a realist sees when he looks at this chart. And what I see right now, ladies and gentlemen, is a ton of similarities that appear to me to look very, very critical when you compare it to what we saw at the 6K region. That was the make or break for many traders, ladies and gentlemen. Many people that used to troll me right in the comments, get wrecked, Kirby, get wrecked, you know, you know, um, uh, um, dollar cost averaging her Kirby here at 6,000 and, and when it goes to 100K, Kirby, you, you, you. Where are they now, ladies and gentlemen? Back doing wherever, wherever they are. They probably don't even have a chart pulled up to look at anymore because their eyes can't bear the misery. And what I'm telling you right now is that what I see is this coiled up range we are in here on the four hour time frame, combined with the lack of volume, combined with the data coming out, that this has all been faked into oblivion. I see that it could be the perfect storm, ladies and gentlemen, for an absolute plunge deep down into the crypto abyss. If we are going to look here on the intraday time frame, as we can see, nothing has changed as of yesterday to today. If we actually tighten up our range here, we are chopping around like a sous chef at a Chinese buffet between a one percentile range less than 1%, to be quite honest, ladies and gentlemen, it appears to be around 0.76%. The price is so tight right now, and we are trading once again below a critical resistance level, in my opinion. You guys know, as I explained on yesterday's stream, anything inside this red box is fair game for a rejection for me. On a macro level, we are still not putting in any higher highs. We still are looking to tentatively be in a ascending, excuse me, a rising wedge here on the weekly and daily timeframes on the BLX. We appear to be in what, what is a classic rising wedge pattern that tentatively is ready to break to the downside after being rejected at resistance, sticking in another lower high, and then getting that spike in volume, like I was just pointing out, ladies and gentlemen, what we had over here, right? Descending volume, whoa, descending volume. Very long, very drawn out, followed by lack of volatility near the end of a formation, and then an influx in volume and a plunge to the downside. Right now, I see we are in a descending volume profile, stagnating with volatility, nearing the end of a pennant formation here, right? We're nearing the end, coming up on resistance, and to me, ladies and gentlemen, the similarities are right there, and these are warning signs to me right now. This 
type of action is the one that makes or breaks traders. I'm telling you, many trolls that used to tell me, get a life, Kirby. Get wrecked, Kirby. You don't know anything. What, what triangle, Kirby? You think drawing triangles on a chart means anything, Kirby? You think it means anything? And I loaded up the shorts here, ladies and gentlemen. Inverse mooned on them. Shout out to my VIPs. I know you guys remember that. That was a truly life-changing trading opportunity. I shorted Bitcoin, dropped nearly 50%. I shorted Bitcoin Cash, dropped nearly 70%. I dropped on Ethereum, over 60%, ladies and gentlemen. And right now, Don Don Carbonaccio sees that there are going to be people that get wrecked right now, caught like a deer in the headlights, taking that trip to wrecked city with average Joe and James at the water cooler. Right now is not a time to be complacent. It's not a time to be crossing your fingers, closing your eyes, and saying, Satoshi. It's time to put that thinking cap on, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to look at this like a realist. Are you going to be the one that gets crushed by this market? Or are you going to be the one that does the crushing? If you fail to plan, then your plan is to fail. And Don Don Carbonaccio does not plan to fail. He plans to succeed. And I will be keeping you all updated with my trades in absolute real time in VIP. Every entry, every exit, every target, every take profit, etc., etc., in real time to the absolute second as I make my trades. I will see you all in VIP right now. I see, ladies and gentlemen, that many are going to... What winds up happening here, let me just, on a psychological level, what winds up happening when we trade sideways and float sideways near the end of a formation, when the volume is low, just like it appears to be now, not much volatility... It's a sleeping giant, ladies and gentlemen. And this is why so many people get caught like a deer in the headlights is because they fall victim to exactly what they don't need to be falling victim to. And that is that the trend puts you to sleep. When the trend is putting you to sleep, it's actually quite the opposite. It is an indicator that a large explosive move is looming in the shadows, especially when you combine it with the fact that we are just getting tapping on that resistance right now. We are tentatively sticking a doji in right now, and we are nearing the end of a pennant formation, which is going to make us decide sooner rather than later where this trend wants to go. And for me, ladies and gentlemen, the higher probability is pointing to the downside for me. And you guys know, if we drop down below, deep down into the crypto abyss, this thing could be an absolute inverse moonshot like no other. Life-changing trading opportunity potentially looming in the shadows. I'll say it once, I'll say it twice. You mess with Satoshi, you will pay the price. Because right now, what I see is that although the moon boys degenerates and gamblers want to see this thing move to the upside, I do not understand why. Because what I see is too much looming resistance where we are at now, one. Just a little bit more up at a 5% gain, two. And just even a little further than that, ladies and gentlemen, roughly 10%. If we take this and move it to the downside, I see one level here, 26%. I see another level here, over 35%. And of course, if we go truly inverse moon uh, into, the, into the crypto pits with Daniel the Degenerate and Corey the Crypto Crackhead, uh, you know, I'm not even going to say what we see here because these, these opportunities, ladies and gentlemen, come few and far between. Uh, you know, this is crypto. Anything can happen. This does not have to happen, and this is why I'll never give you investment advice or trading advice. I am not your financial advisor. All your trading decisions must be made on your own. What I'm pointing out here is the fact that I see that we are coiled up and a move is ready to be made. 
The best thing you can do, ladies and gentlemen, is continue to educate yourselves and prepare for what is looming. Right now, I'm formulating my strategy, plotting my moves, and preparing myself for this either potentially life-changing drop or if we get a blue sky breakout to the upside, which I think is less probable, but if it were in fact to occur, I do identify that this has a large potential as well. Uh, guys, I've pointed out the similarities here. I've pointed out the chart patterns. I've pointed out, uh, you know, let's, let's look at this one last thing here. Uh, if Bitcoin is not going to get this plunge at this exact moment, I believe we could drop out of this channel, maybe take a test here uh, to a Fibonacci level. Let's actually pull this Fib up right now. Uh, we'll take a look at this just to put it on your radar. We'll go from the swing low to swing high. I think the saving grace here, ladies and gentlemen, the last, last hope for Bitcoin as it stands right now from a bullish perspective would be a tentative test right here along the 0.618 Fibonacci, which does have a confluence with the upward support line of the triangle pattern we are in right now. This is still tentatively an ascending triangle. Uh, for me right now though, ladies and gentlemen, the bearish narrative is overwhelming in my opinion. I am seeing that this is the time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm starting to cook up plays like there's two minutes left in the fourth quarter of the championship game. Are you going to be the one doing the crushing or are you going to be the one that gets crushed? It's time to make a decision, ladies and gentlemen. I will be keeping all my VIPs up to date in absolute real time with every single trade I make, every entry, every exit, every take profit, etc. for you exclusively in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs. I will continue to keep you updated with my trades in absolute real time. Let's get this crypto. Guys, I hope that we're all seeing what I'm seeing here. Multiple tests of this resistance line here, a bearish pattern on the weekly time frame, and a lot of similarities in the volume profiles and now starting to see that lack of volatility nearing the end of a triangle pattern, all showing me that if history does tend and does want to repeat itself, we are in for one heck of a ride here in the near future. And right now, as I've stated, I'm plotting my strategy formulating my plan. Because if you fail to plan, then your plan is to fail. And I do not plan to fail, ladies and gentlemen. I plan to succeed. And if, in fact, this life-changing trading opportunity does present itself in either direction, you best believe Don Don Carbonaccio is not looking to get caught like a deer in the headlights. He is looking to thrive, prosper, and get this crypto. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. I'm getting back to my VIPs right now. I need to keep the pedal to the metal because when this move does in fact occur, it may happen in the blink of an eye as we've seen time and time again time and time again that the moon boys get caught off guard, wrecked, and sent to Capitulation City. Are you going to get caught like a deer in the headlights? Or are you going to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe? Let's get this crypto. I will see you in VIP, ladies and gentlemen. I will be keeping my VIPs up to date with my plans, strategies, entries, exits, take profits, etc. in real time. I will see you in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs. And until next time, my friends, be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.